Good morning, and I'm really sorry, uh, first of all, that I can't be with you today, but I have been given this opportunity just to say a few words, which I'm really grateful for. Waitrose has an enduring relationship with news brands, and one that shows no sign of weakening. We're excited about the prospect of continuing our work with news brands, looking for innovative and engaging ways to connect with our customers. The print landscape has changed dramatically, just in the same way that the retail landscape has changed. But both landscapes are finding new and innovative ways to connect with customers in this ever-evolving world of digital consumption. But one thing that remains consistent is that news brands are still a great way of connecting with our customers and are really important in our marketing mix. Tim and Tammy, um, who are from the best agencies in town, um, without any shadow of a doubt, have very kindly agreed to share some of the ways in which um, we've demonstrated this innovation over the past few years. Once again, I'm really sorry not to be with you today, um, but I hope that when you reach into your goodie bag at the end of the day, um, you'll be pleased to get a fantastic Waitrose product, um, and I hope you have a fantastic conference. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's a good thing we're called Tim and Tammy. It actually works as a bit of a devil. <laughs> it does, yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, so, uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you, Rufus. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here this morning. Um, a great intro from our client, Rupert Elwood from Waitrose, and everything that he says there is correct, um, particularly the two points about Adam and Eve Manning Gottlieb being the best agencies in town. Um, but beyond that, he, he is right. There is a lasting enduring and important relationship that Waitrose has with news brands. And for the next 15 or so minutes, Tammy and I will just talk you through the story around that relationship. Um, what's interesting about it is the, the depth of the relationship, because we think it's unusual. It goes beyond the normal relationship between advertiser uh, and news brands, um, and it's multi-layered because it puts news brands at the heart of the customer experience. Waitrose has invested a lot of time in news, not just as a form of advertising, but as a, form of, as, as a part of the customer experience. And broadly, um, they operate on three levels. One, as an advertiser, we are ongoing and confident investors into news brands, and that's, as Rupert said, is showing no sign of, of easing up. Um, as a publisher, so Waitrose um, produces its own uh, newspaper, uh, a weekly newspaper. It has its own monthly magazine. And I think some of the circulation <coughs> figures that we'll go into in a minute will probably surprise a lot of the people in this room. Uh, and finally, um, this clicker's a little slow, apologies. Uh, three, as a distributor. Obviously, as a retailer, uh, Waitrose distributes, sells newspapers. But again, there are some surprising um, areas within this too. So it's, I don't think there are many other brands out there that, that take uh, news, news brands, publishing and print, and really put them at the heart of their business. And that's driven by the customer, ultimately. Uh, and we don't ignore 50 plus customers, by the way. Uh, we embrace them, we like them, we don't hate them. Um, but the, the customer really does still have a strong uh, affiliation with uh, an affinity to, to news brands. And there's a lot of research that, that, that builds that point, that makes that point. But we've just looked here at a couple of pieces. The first one being the Newsworks IPA Touchpoint Study shows that um, within the segment of news junkies, which is obviously the, the, the people that consume the most news, Waitrose is the highest indexing brand against other retailers in the category. But I think there's a, there's a positive story beyond just Waitrose here, not, not that I want to talk about the competition. Um, and that consumption is increasing year on year. The overall picture is that consumption of Waitrose shoppers with news is up, print is down, uh, and digital is up. But that's not necessarily a news story, uh, but it is a positive story. And that's one of the reasons why we continue to invest with confidence, and one of the reasons why um, we, we look to, to multi-channel, cross-platform, um, interconnected methods of uh, advertising and communicating via news brands. And we look at that um, connection, that multi-channel um, way of behaving in media and in, and in advertising, because that reflects, ultimately, 
retail shopper behavior now. So if we look at online, this Venn diagram here shows online and offline or clicks and bricks um, shopper behavior. And there is, as with print and, and as with digital editions, there is an overlap between the two in that cons consumers and customers inter interact across both. And as with news and with print, uh, uh, sorry, as with print and digital editions, it's the digital element within that that is growing and growing exponentially. And again, there's a lot of research around that. Um, one stat here is showing that by 2019, almost £9 billion will be spent in, in retail on M commerce. Um, so that is, is growing, and that's one of the reasons why Waitrose have, have moved to a very successful omni channel strategy. And that results in a multi-layered um, approach to print and to news. Um, as I mentioned before, we are uh, an advertiser that <laughs> continues to invest. Um, you could probably say that, that print is, is the heart of, of any Waitrose plan uh, and plays a, a very, very important role, and we'll come on to why in a second. Um, as a publisher, uh, Waitrose Weekend... Um, which is the weekly newspaper, Waitrose Food, which is the monthly magazine, The Good Food Guide. Some of these are, are powerful brands in, in their own right, and they're, and they're growing in influence. Um, and Waitrose invests a lot in, into these brands. So in many ways, they are uh, a media owner as, as, as well as, a, as an advertiser. Not that they're in competition with, with anyone in the room, by the way. Um, and finally, as a distributor, um, Selling newspapers uh, isn't necessarily a surprise for a grocer, uh, but how Waitrose offer newspapers to, to valuable shoppers is interesting, uh, and how Waitrose embarks with different partnerships. So a great example of this, the partnership with The Telegraph uh, for Waitrose, for The Telegraph Wine, is a great example of two very powerful and influential brands coming together to distribute wine uh, to the benefit of both sets of customers. And because of all that, we continue to invest with confidence. As I said, our spend is up, uh, was up 35% last year. Um, there was a dip in 2014, but ignore that for the minute. Just look at the overall trend. Uh, it is up uh, 20, uh, 35%. Our investment in online news, albeit from a lower base, is, is up 108%. And Waitrose's share of spend into print is the biggest in the category. And it's the biggest in the category, probably because of this reason here. And, and that is that news brands, from an, from an ROI point of view, uh, news brands are star performers. On average, print is our most effective ROI channel. Um, so it really, really does deliver commercial value back to the partnership. But it, but it goes beyond just ROI. News are consistently in, in the top two channels uh, when it comes to brand and conversion metrics. So a really, really powerful, influential channel that consistently delivers volume back and commercial uh, returns back into the partnership. So that's a, a sort of overview of, of the layers of the relationship that, that uh, Waitrose has. What I'll do now is pass over to Tammy here. We'll go, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. I do. Tim does the numbers and I do the pictures, and I think I've... Uh... I have more fun with them. And I may need to do the, no, uh, the, the clicking. Yeah. One of the reasons that we as uh, advertisers love these channels is because they allow us to tell a number of stories at any one time. So rather than just saying what we have to do is we have to inspire consumers, we know we need to do that. Or we need to tell them about promotions, we know we need to do that. News channels allow us to do both of those things. And if we create a consistent handwriting, one that comes from a brand like Waitrose, we are able to tell different stories at any one time and engage consumers with very different messages. And, and that's the beauty of these channels. Click on to the next. And I know this is slightly strange to, uh, to start with uh, a, a TV ad. I, I know that that is not the focus of what we're talking about here. But what I wanted to do is just show you an ad that we did for, uh, for uh, Autumn before going on to show how the idea and how evoking uh, Autumn played through in news channels, both in print and in digital. Hum, hum, dum, 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 dum,
Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily. So it's rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day today. It seems that it may turn out to be fields, that it will undoubtedly look like a rather blustery day. <laughs> Oh, the wind is lashing lustily, and the trees are thrashing thrustily, and the leaves are rustling gustily. So it is rather safe to say that it seems that it may turn out. The great British autumn. That it will Waitrose makes it the warmest like season of the year. Day. The end. Everybody inside. So what we wanted to do was evoke that lovely, warm feeling of autumn. And in a TV channel, we can do that with music and, and sound. But we wanted to make sure that that inspiration and that lovely, warm quality of autumn came through in other channels. And if you click to the next one, this is what we did in uh, print. We created a series of ads celebrating food that is very specific to autumn to try and evoke that feeling of autumn and to create inspiration around it. And what we've done is create a sort of what we've called a mosaic uh, art direction that allows us to tell a richer story. So rather than just showing one image, the, uh, the little images around the main image allow us to tell a richer story of provenance and of uh, ingredients and actually tell a much, much fuller story in one static image. So we created a series of these. These ran as three or four consecutive pages and it meant that there was a real sort of in-paper domination for these stories. They really stood out. And what we also wanted to do was take the idea and move it into a digital uh, channel and ensure that people can actually engage with this in a much more interactive way. And I don't know if you can, if you can click on that. But I wanted to call this steamy windows, but that gives a completely different connotation. But uh, the, we wanted to take the theme of the steamy windows from uh, the TV channel and make sure that that is used in digital channels and people actually were encouraged to interact with it and click through to see the full recipe. So that just gives a, a flavour of how we created inspiration in print through uh, a series of ads that told a richer story. And what we saw was that uh, unprompted awareness for Waitrose actually went up by 50%. It was the most successful channel for us for this campaign. And uh, the same, uh, obviously, story goes for Christmas. Christmas is a critical time for uh, any retailer, and Waitrose is no exception. And what we wanted to do was create a standout campaign, but keep, keep some of the themes that we started to establish in autumn. So we created a TV campaign, but in print and digital, kept some of the handwriting that we uh, launched in October. What is it that makes Christmas Christmas? Have a banana, Anna. Try the salami, Tommy. Give with the gravy, Davy. Everybody eats when they come to my house. I fix your favorite dishes, hoping this good food fills ya. Work my hands to the bone in the kitchen alone. Everybody eats when they come to my house. This is a party, Marty. Cause everybody eats when they come to my house. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Whatever makes your Christmas, make it with Waitrose. The theme of whatever makes your Christmas make it with Waitrose was carried through into print, into uh, digital, and we created a series of ads um, <laughs> a bit of a time delay, apologies. <laughs> I can act them out. We created a series of ads uh, using the, uh, uh, the most uh, iconic foods of the season uh, to try and really tell a story around the ingredients, the, the quality uh, of Waitrose foods. And again, the sort of the mosaic approach allowed us to tell a story about the provenance and the ingredients. And in digital, as you can see it moving there, we took the theme of what makes your Christmas and encouraged uh, consumers to roll over and engage with it themselves. So this is really important that the handwriting of Waitrose uh, carries through in whatever channel uh, we, we 
we're co communicating to consumers, and that's uh, hopefully you can see that coming through. But the number one uh, thing for us is, is obviously to ensure that the quality comes through. Waitrose prides itself on the quality of its ingredients, and for us as an advertiser, there is a responsibility to ensure that the advertising that we produce reflects that, reflects that quality at every point in the journey. These are examples of uh, some seasonal ads that we've done uh, for Valentine's Day. So what we wanted to do was be a little bit clever with the use of the media, and we uh, bought uh, bookends, and we uh, there was a message about either make it with love or ready made with love, and that is for people who like to cook, there were fresh ingredients and they can go to the kitchen and make a delicious meal, and for those who wanted to cheat a little bit, Waitrose was uh, non-judgmental about that and had ready made uh, meals. So we, we used the media cleverly in that way to tell a sort of a, a story of either making it with love or ready made with love. And again, the, the sort of the handwriting is consistent throughout, whether we're telling a seasonal story or, or a tactical story, and that's what you're going to see. Yeah, right. um, and so telling a, a, a story of quality sort of is, is, is one aspect of what we do, but often there will be promotions and mechanics that we need to communicate. And what we wanted to do, as is uh, the case with Pick Your Own, which is one of the examples, is make sure that some of the handwriting that we've established in our sort of inspirational stories carries through. So the, the white background and the way that we, we talk about uh, the product is, is consistent, but we're very sing, uh, simple, single-minded even about this. And we used, uh, we, we worked with Evening Standards to great effect to produce a sort of event on the day of launch and there were seven different um, uh, front covers with different foods, encouraging people to pick 10 items and get 20% off. So we wanted to be very, very uh, single-minded and confident in the way that we talked about this promotion, but never lose sight of the fact that uh, quality uh, is very, very important and the quality of the images was important. And then we have an always-on approach. Uh, again, Waitrose as a retailer obviously needs to communicate promotions and deals throughout the year. These are um, a couple of examples, but again, there is that handwriting to make sure that whatever we, uh, whatever we say and wherever we say it in whatever channel, there is that sort of thread of steel running through everything that we say, so that there is a recognition and uh, a rise in prompted, un unprompted awareness for Waitrose. Uh, advertising is just one aspect of uh, what we do. Partnerships are really important. This is an example of a partnership that we did with The Telegraph in the summer. It was called Taste of Summer. And it allowed us to reach a really relevant demographic, really uh, engaged audience through The Telegraph. And what we did was produce 50 pieces of really inspiring recipe content with some celebrity chefs and allowed people to engage with uh, the, the content in a much more... Uh, detailed and uh, uh, rich way than perhaps they do when it's just advertising. So uh, that was uh, hugely su successful. There were almost 200,000 uh, views of the videos and it allowed us to link it with uh, the above the line. But there is that sort of relationship between advertising and content which work very well together to ensure that people ha do have a richer experience through partnerships and the Telegraph was a great example of that. And then Tim touched on the fact that uh, Waitrose actually produce uh, a number of titles and that helps people uh, engage with the brand on a very, very regular basis, again, in a more meaningful way. Uh, the Weekend is a weekly magazine that consumers uh, pick up on Thursday. Waitrose Food has got the most delicious recipes and it's a monthly magazine. The Good Food Guide is an annual uh, event and, and Waitrose use all their social platforms to push out lots of delicious recipes. All of these work together with the advertising to ensure that consumers have an ongoing relationship with the brand, one that inspires them, one that helps them create the best foods and one that really reassures them on quality throughout. And what we've seen, the numbers are um, really positive, is that one in five consumers who regularly read uh, the magazines and, are 40, uh, and have got a high awareness of the seasonal specials are much more likely to shop in Waitrose as a result. So there is a really direct relationship between what Waitrose do as an advertiser and as a publisher and uh, the commercial results that that uh, elicits. Okay, so um, to the final section, uh, which is Waitrose as a distributor. Um, 
So I've got a major delay on this clicker here. Um, so that, as a retailer, you would expect that, that Waitrose sells uh, a lot of newspapers. I did have the number on here, but I was told to take it off by Waitrose. But I can assure you that they sell a lot of newspapers. Um, but that's not necessarily surprising. What is surprising, I, I think, for those of you that aren't Waitrose shoppers, and hopefully most of you are, is that Waitrose give away newspapers to their best shoppers via their My Waitrose card, which is their loyalty card. Uh, 5.7 million people are now signed up to that. So from zero to 5.7 million in four years is amazing as 70% of their sales are linked to the My Waitrose card. And if you are a My, My Waitrose card holder, that gives you access to fantastic value. So weekly offers, uh, there's fish Friday, 20% off fish on a Friday is a particular favourite of mine. Uh, pick your own offers, where you, I'm turning into a Waitrose advert here, where you, where you can pick uh, the things that you want the discounts from rather than the ones that the supermarkets want to. And also, if you spend over £5 or £10 at the weekend, you get a free coffee and a free newspaper, any one of those brands there on the site. And, and that's an example of how... Uh, Waitrose are making news an important part of the customer experience, and it goes down very, very well with customers. This word all here so shows some of the word associations that come out from my Waitrose. Um, free is the big one. Uh, coffee is the second biggest one. So, you, so news brands are beaten by coffee, but, but newspapers play a very, very important role, uh, and over 70% of customers felt that they benefited uh, from the newspapers that are being offered to them by Waitrose. So it's really, really important. Um, so a, a couple more quick points. So that, that just shows the, the, the different layers that uh, we're involved with, with Waitrose. Um, but there are also shared values that, that exist between both brands and the news brands and Waitrose. And Waitrose uh, are, are passionate about food, produce, and how that produce is brought to market. And some of those values are shared in news brands as well. Some of the headlines here demonstrate that. And I think there's an opportunity for us to, to come together with, with some of these brands to, to tap into those shared values for the benefit of the customer. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to brief the entire in industry in 30 seconds, which might save the team time later. So if anyone here has got any ideas around how we can get closer to the ed editorial content around some of those important issues, we'd be interested in having a conversation there, as long as it doesn't breach any boundaries, obviously. Um, but we don't always share the, the, the same uh, values as, as some news brands, and I think this headline from the Daily Mash demonstrates that. So we, we might not always like the things that, that, that are being said. Um, okay, I'm going to keep clicking. Right, so, uh, so that, I think, shows how we have deepened shopper engagement, and there are ways in which we can do that. So, uh, even more so in the future. So there's obviously an opportunity between data, the data that exists between news brands and that exists between waitresses and how we can bring them together. Mobiles are an increasingly important part of the shopper experience in store. So I think there's potentially some interesting work that we can do around surfacing the right content, the right news content potentially in store. There's always a drive to innovation, uh, for more in innovation uh, particularly around ad formats in print and in digital. It, it feels to us that there needs to be a greater level of innovation there. And tactical alliances around food are something that we, were, that we would like to have a conversation with. So I think, hopefully, that um, shows the enduring and importance of, of print and news brands and how we leverage that for, for Waitrose shoppers. Um, and there's lots of stuff that we can do in the future. So it's a positive story. I think sometimes the story around news uh, and newspapers outside of this forum can be overly negative uh, or, or too negative. Hopefully this uh, is, is another demonstration of the power of these brands. Um, that's all from us. Thank you. <laughs>